Did you know that Ubuntu 24.04 comes packed with features that can transform your desktop experience like never before? Stick around to learn how to install effortlessly and unlock its full potential. Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on installing Ubuntu 24.04. Installing an operating system can be tricky, so you may end up with problems just like the one over here. So but don't worry, this guide will make it easy for you guys. Now let's start with backing up everything. So what we're going to do is go in and back in back up everything onto an external hard drive. If you don't have one, you can buy one off Amazon. All you have to do is go into Amazon and type in HTT 1TB. And that should be enough for you guys to back up anything that you want. Unless you're a creator, you might require more space. Now let's go to the next one. Create a bootable USB. Before you begin, make sure you have a pen drive that is at least 8 gigs in space. Now, head over to Google Chrome and search for Ubuntu and click on the first link that comes up, which is the Ubuntu website, ubuntu.com, and you should be able to select the option Products and Ubuntu Desktop on it. Now, you should be able to download the ISO when you click on the Ubun Download Ubuntu option, and we are going to be using Download 24.04 LTS, which is the Long Term Service Edition. At the same time, I'm going to use something called Checkout Alternate Downloads and download a torrent file that helps it download faster than compared to the Ubuntu servers. So I'm gonna download the torrent file first and open it using an open source torrent client which is called the Qubit torrent. That's what I used over here and once you have your ISO file downloaded I have mine already finished and I've put it to the desktop there. Now the next thing that you need is a tool called the Rufus and it helps you now that's the tool over there now we're gonna download the tool just for you know for you to know which website it is so you head over to Google and type in Rufus and scroll down to the page it helps you create your bootable USB drive it can be used to create Windows bootable devices or Linux any operating system now click on Rufus download it to the desktop as well once it's there on the desktop now you can double click and open Rufus. You're going to be given a prompt and you're going to select yes and then you can select and insert your pen drive in there. It has to be at least 8 gigs in space. So I've put my pen drive there. Now I'm going to select the desktop variation that I downloaded because for this video we're going to be using the desktop variation. Once that is done, you go ahead and start okay now this will erase everything on the pen drive so make sure you've backed up everything before you proceed so proceed with caution now click on ok and it's going to reformat your pen drive to make it bootable so just wait until the process finishes i'm just going to fast forward it for you once you have the thing done you can click on close as you can see the ubuntu that's the pen drive that's bootable now you will have to disable secure boot and make sure you can boot from a USB. So what we're going to do is click on start menu, power button and while holding the shift button you click on restart to restart into advanced boot. So in that you can select UEFI firmware settings and you should boot directly into your BIOS. Please don't forget to subscribe guys. Now what we're going to do here is make sure you have USB mass storage enabled. Now search for advanced options. So every BIOS is different and you might have something different out here. But what you need to make sure is make sure you have the option secure boot. Now just give me one second. Yeah. You make sure you have USB mass storage device support enabled. And then the next option you're searching for is to make sure your pen drive is the first boot device. Now ours is the Kingston one. I'm gonna show you how to directly boot into it without that. Now let's get into easy mode again. I'm gonna search for boot menu. Yeah, inside the boot menu, I'm gonna choose the pen drive directly from it without changing any boot order. You you can do that if you have the option. Now once you do that, you should be able to boot into Ubuntu just like this one. 
Now you're going to be selecting the language first for your installation. It's a straightforward process. If you have any doubts, please do leave it in the comment section below. Now you click on next unless you need something over here, you can go ahead and click next. Now you select your keyboard layout, mine C English US 1. I'm going to go ahead and click next again. Use wired connection because I only have the wired one. If you have a wireless one, you should enter your Wi-Fi password in there. I'm just going to go ahead and click cry Ubuntu just to show you what's there. Now if the installation for some reason looks weird, don't worry, it'll just come up properly once the installation is done. Now I'm just going to double click on install Ubuntu. Again go through the same setup. Next. Next again. And next again after selecting the keyboard layout. Then the internet. Now here you select interactive installation instead of automated unless you have something specific in mind. Now I'm going to go with default selection. I don't want an offline friendly one because it ends up taking up a lot of time. Now install third party for all graphic drivers and Wi-Fi hardware. I do recommend you to have these two turned on to have additional format support and everything. Now click on next. Just give it some time. It's going to take a while based on how fast your system is and everything yeah so now next what you're going to do is erase disk and install make sure you've backed up everything on your pc before you do that because it's going to erase everything off of your laptop now click on next again and you can create your name your computer name your username and password and i'm going to enter what i want for these ones once this is done I'm going to take off the require my password login. You can leave it on because I want it off for my personal reasons. Let me just finish entering up the password. Now once that is done, you can click on next. Now select your time zone, whichever you want. Go ahead and click next and you should see the choices that you have made over there. And that will show you what partition is going to be formatted and everything. Now click install and that should begin your installer. So all you have to do is just wait for the process to complete and wait for Ubuntu to let you know. I'm going to just fast forward it for you. Now you have an option to restart now. At this point once you click restart now you should be given an option to remove the installation media. And when you're seeing that you hit enter once you remove it. Now it should boot directly into Ubuntu just like this one. Voila guys, you've installed it successfully now. Now, I'm just going to alter the settings. If you don't see the size of the screen is proper, you head over into settings there, displays, and you select the resolution that you want. For me, I'm going to go ahead with 190, 180. Keep changes and that should make it a better quality right now. Now, there you go. So once you have everything, Please don't forget to subscribe guys it really helps me a lot guys now as you can see this is one of the fastest and snappiest operating system out here and it's really fast and you can make sure that you have everything that works on windows work on linux as well and it is more advanced and if you think that you cannot customize it as windows you're wrong you definitely can and you do have a specific app store as well in this one as you can see it uses much less resources than windows and i'm pretty sure the app store has a lot of things that you might want so make sure that you enjoy the ubuntu installation tell me how it is in the comment section below i hope you guys like the video until the next one thanks for watching guys